Hi, Empire Builders. Bill Pitcher here with Empire Building Today. Earlier today, I got asked the question, uh, have I had to increase my activity to offset the dilution of shares that happens uh, as you make more shares available to investors? And the short answer to that is no. And I want to talk a little bit about dividends today, share dilution, um, uh, the impact that trading has on, on your dividends, and uh, a final thought on uh, perhaps whether or not uh, you should upgrade the number of shares you have available, as uh, uh, you may be, as some people are, uh, debating that uh, particular issue. So the first thing is my activity. And uh, as I mentioned, I have not uh, increased my activity to offset uh, share dilution. I've probably gotten a little bit smarter in my activity uh, over my months on Empire Avenue, taking careful note of uh, which things make an impact. Uh, you heard me mention just recently that status update on the site I felt was important. Who knows whether it is. Maybe I've just convinced myself of that. Um, as well, I... Uh, I make sure that, uh, you know, if I have a couple of blog posts on Tumblr, they don't hit at the same time. I try to have them hit at different times in the day. Uh, there is a reference in the Empire Avenue blog to that making an impact, but uh, it's an indirect uh, reference, so I may be accurate on that. I may not. But um, I just try to have a very basic activity that uh, I do every day and create a real pattern to keep it going. If anything, my activity... Uh, is not what it once was. I mean, there was a time where I had several people uh, blogging on the uh, Empire Avenue, uh, Empire Building Network blog, um, where you're maybe watching this video, and uh, I was blogging three times a day. So, uh, you know, there was uh, lots of viewership, lots of things going on. Um, now I uh, I try to blog uh, once once a day on the Empire Building Network and. Uh, to post two or three things on uh, on Tumblr. Um, I try to keep busy on uh, Facebook and Twitter um, and Flickr and uh, YouTube only when I'm doing a Empire Building Network blog video. Um, remember that uh, it only takes five of the services to uh, contribute to your um, uh, your scores, your market makers, your dividends. Um, activity is based on everything though. So if you're looking at your daily activity uh, benefits um, and uh, EVEs, uh, that is based on all of the, um, uh, the services that are connected up. Talking about uh, dilution of shares, and I just want to be clear on this because uh, I've seen some discussion back and forth. It works this way. No, it works this way. There was a point um, when uh, you added more shares that it significantly diluted the dividends per shares that you would pay. Empire Avenue made a change some weeks ago where that was changed so that there is still some dilution. Okay but that it is much less than it used to be. Um, so the question comes in, should you uh, upgrade? Should you make more shares available? And one of the things to remember is that uh, there tends to be activity around trading. So, you know, the thank you comments, the thumbs up that get given and the like that uh, can actually contribute positively to your dividends and that when you are trading fewer shares because you don't have shares available that that can be a drag on your share price in terms of or sorry inter on your shares in terms of dividends and in terms of the overnight market makers so you have to look at the trade-off of that for you and one of the best ways to do that is that you can go a period of time where you don't make uh, more shares available. Talk to somebody who maybe made the decision to go the next round and ask them, you know, what happened to your um, to your dividends. And uh, there's been a number of people that have experimented with that and have pretty good sense on, on, on what happens. There is no doubt that there are um, dividend investors. But the other thing you have to remember is that um, there are lots of people that don't uh, invest that way at all. I 
um, I don't invest that way. If you buy my shares, I'll buy your shares back. It's that simple. Um, if uh, you know, if you disappear off the site for weeks at a time, I'm going to sell your shares. But other than that, I'm going to hold those shares, um, whether you have great dividends or uh, you know pretty poor dividends. I um, basically used the money that I got from when you bought my shares to buy your shares back. So I'm out, n out nothing buying your shares, and that's why I'm prepared to support the people that support me. So when you are making that decision, remember that there are still people that are going to buy your shares, whether they become diluted or, or not. And that kind of brings me to my last point, and that's that ultimately this should be about you having fun. And yes, moving up the leaderboards is fun. And so you want to look at how you're maximizing your wealth, because the more wealth you have, the more shares you can buy, or the more earnings you can make every day, you know. Um, but if uh, if you find being sold out fun because you know then it's all about working the overnight market makers and you don't have to worry about people buying and selling your shares you're gonna stay close to sold out all the time then do that and if you are somebody that likes you know oh, the more shares I can sell the better I just enjoy the selling and that's where I am I love people buying my shares um, then make then continue to make more shares available and you know what don't get that hung up on on whether your shares are diluted do what you enjoy because isn't ultimately that's what it's all about anyway that's all I have I hope that was helpful until next time I'm Bill Pitcher happy Empire building